My name is Oriana Romano and I lead the OECD program on the blue economy in cities and regions. In general, what we argue at, uh, at the OECD and especially within uh, this uh, program on the blue economy in cities and regions is that blue economies should be resilient to economic and climate related shocks, should be inclusive, taking into account uh, the local community, uh, learning from uh, the local knowledge, should be sustainable and uh, obviously looking at the impact of climate change and try to decarbonize uh, uh, blue economy activities and also circular, not only in relation to waste management, but also in relation to efficient use of resources. So there are three main messages, in my opinion, that uh, should be worth it to share. The first is that uh, blue economies uh, should be uh, resilient, inclusive, uh, sustainable and circular. So it is important to look at all these aspects uh, at once. The second is to make sure that uh, in delivering or achieving uh, the resilient, inclusive, sustainable and circular blue economy, there will be a governance that will take into account different levels of government, uh, so from the state uh, to the regional to the local government, as only through good governance uh, uh, a sustainable, uh, resilient, inclusive and circular blue economy can be achieved. So the importance of the role of cities, the importance of the role of regions, both in terms of regulation, but also in terms of financing, and also because they are much closer to uh, the needs and uh, the observation of the city. Citizens. And the third point is to have a, a whole of a water approach, which means uh, to look at the oceans, but also to look at fresh water, uh, water management, the rivers. We need to take into account that nowadays 109 uh, megatons of plastics is accumulated in rivers and they will end up in, uh, in, uh, in the ocean. So it's important to, when we look at the ocean health, to think about about the river health and have a, a system approach to link different policies.